Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd and welcome. Today is Saturday and that is up and coming band day. Now, this is the day that is dedicated to bands that are up and coming, independent, or have less than 10,000 subscribers on their YouTube channel. Yes, this is your day. So if you're one of those bands and you wanna get your song out, send me, let me know. All right, so, and here's the thing. You can, you, you can be too big for that, but it doesn't matter where you're from. So like you could be from Houston right down the street. You could be from New Orleans, New York, Europe, Germany, Africa. You could be from India. Hell, you can even be from Perth, Australia. Like this band. This is Primrose Path. And the name of the song is Irrelevance, okay? Um, now, here's the thing. This one was suggested to me by Tori Reacts. You guys know Tori, don't you? Tell me you know who Tori is. You don't know who Tori is? Well. <laughs> can't get your break that's not fair all right here we go up and coming band perth australia now my favorite thing about bands from australia whether it be head wreck make way for man lincoln throat there's something about australia i don't know if it's the fact that they're also a continent and an island i don't know if it's the fact that they have more snakes than anyone or they have kangaroos koalas i don't know there's something about the creativity there they just kind of think out the box which makes us love them are you ready you're not, but I'm pressing play anyway. Let's get going. Okay, normally I would say that this is a feast for the eyes. The problem is my ears are competing with it going, no, dude, it's a feast for the ears. It's kind of both because there's so much going on, okay? The stage is set in this theater with, with no chairs, by the way. Um, and they're all dressed up in suits or formal dress, but they're very non-formal. Um... You know, some people look at diversity as different races or different sexes or different genders or different backgrounds. This is just a diverse group of people with all different styles, not just in how they look, but how they present themselves. They're different. Like Lindsay, who's uh, Tori told me Lindsay is the, the lead singer. She has this beautiful tone and she just seems to be just floating there with her arms out, just letting her voice ring with this beautiful texture and tone and amazing control. But then you have these guitarists who just look like, one of them looks like he used to play in the Smashing Pumpkins, the other one looks like Metal Jesus, and they're going at it, and the composition is elaborate. It is such an overwhelming just layering. It's layers upon, I mean, ogres have layers. Onions, onions have layers. This song has layers. What I'm saying is this, this song is like an ogre onion. Take with that what you want. Okay, here's the other thing. The drummer. The drummer's got a swagger about him. Now, his kit is minimalistic, which I think is on purpose. 
because his playing is not. And immediately, the way he projects himself with his facial expressions, the way he moves his body and his head with the rhythm and how he's getting into it, reminds me of a certain drummer. I'm going to allow all of you in the comments to see if you can guess who the drummer I'm thinking of is. Here's a hint. The band he's in, or was in, goes all the way back to the 70s. And most of their biggest hits were in the 80s. And let's just say they were um, pretty big fans of marching bands. That's your clues. But if you know who I'm talking about, it clicks in your head the second you see the way this guy moves. Um, now, it's funny because the, the music they're playing is metal. And the drummer I'm thinking of didn't play metal. So, for those Neil Peart fans, no. The person I'm thinking of also had a beard. Are you ready? Let's get back into it. This band plays outside of itself. I mean, Lindsay, the lead singer, she's, the voice is beautiful. The countenance is gorgeous. And every time she sings, you're captivated by her tone. You're paying attention. The second she stops singing, you realize, oh my God, I haven't been paying attention to this band. What the hell's going on? And the band just goes off. I'm... Again, I think it's Australia. I think it's the water. I don't know if it's just, if it, maybe it's the Southern Hemisphere. That's probably what it is. It's probably Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. I don't care what excuse you've got. This is outstandingly well done. The composition of the song itself is worth a listen. And then the performance, I want to see this band live. Granted, they're in Perth. I mean, the last time I was in Perth was in 2011. For eight weeks. It's a completely different city now. <sighs> tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. Anybody know why Mick Fleetwood is wearing a poncho? 
asking for a friend, but I'm pretty sure the answer to it is, eh, it's an Australian thing. It's not. But at this point, I give a shit. It's this good. It really is good. And Lindsay is, is an absolute goddess. Tonally, it's pff, the hell out of here. I mean, come on. Normally, bands will put strings and orchestra and violin accompaniments to make it sound symphonic. She's turning this into symphonic metal with her voice. You just caught that, right? You just caught this song is symphonic metal and there are no string accompaniments. It sounds like symphonic metal because of the way she's pulling her vocals through and the tone is immense. Yep, no strings attached, which is what the chat just said on my Twitch channel. Yeah, we are, we're filming this live on Twitch. If you're not here, sorry, I warned you. All right, everybody. Welcome to Up and Coming Saturday. This was Primrose Path from Perth, Australia. Lindsay and the guys threw it down. Um, again, there's so much to unpack. I challenge you to go into the description below. I'll have all of their information there. Please watch the original because two reasons. Number one, it really takes more than once to really grasp everything going on with this song and what this band's putting out. And two, if you watch the original, my stupid face doesn't talk the whole time. Just thinking about y'all. All right, everybody. Um, and while you go and do that, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to listen to it again. So now you have to leave. I'm sorry. I like you. I do. I, I do like you. But I, I like the song more. So y'all got to go. It doesn't matter. Go. I, I'm going to, I'm going to watch. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.